Hello, hello. Happy Saturday to everybody out there. It's going to be another day of streaming StarCraft, the remastered campaign. All right, so embarrassing admission. Embarrassing admission time. We were supposed to play the Protoss campaign first because IV means four in Roman numerals, and Terran is V, which means five, and Zerg VI means six. Eagle River, huh? This name is bad. <laughs> What are we talking about today? Why are we talking about Eagle River? I don't know. I'm very confused already, but I'm glad you could make it here so quickly, my good friend. Eagle River is a falcon stream. Oh! Oh! Okay. I mean, eagles aren't falcons necessarily, but I get where you're coming from. I totally get it. How are things in Taiwan today? I hope the flooding isn't too bad or maybe non-existent at this point. That'd be nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and not load a replay because that is my default tendency here is to always load a replay. But to load saved and... No, wait, where are my saved games? What? Well, that's fine. We just finished on a campaign portion anyway. Flooding is gone. Everything is fine. Excellent news. All right, so we assaulted on Core Hall. We chose to get rid of the ghosts. And then we killed Manx, but then he got picked up by Raynor. I think we're on Patriot's Blood. Good morning, Anantio Pure. Welcome to the stream. I don't recognize your name, but I'm glad you're here. We have tracked ah, here the fugitives Minx and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Iyer. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss armor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg groups surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the brutes seem to be passing, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the brutes attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. Sorry, thanks. Dang it. There was a thing there. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, one more try. Okay, that's better. We have tracked the fugitives Minx and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Iyer. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss armor these men? I have no idea, Gerard. But the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg groups surrounding the Protoss base. Excellent. Hello, Mr. Alex Mercer. Welcome to the channel today. Glad you could make it. We're going to go ahead and destroy Raynor's command center. Ooh, Frost made it too. What's up, dude? Boop. Oh, they're teaching us about Valkyries. Oh, gosh. The massacre. Hey, keep helping, guys. These tanks are in trouble. There we go. Well. No, 
Not bad. Three kills, four kills, three kills. Kills across the board for everyone. Alright, so these are mine now. It's a weird place to build a hatch, Zerg. Don't know what to tell you. Oh, the supply depots. Oh boy. actually played Brood War, huh? It's fun. It's really good. I've played it a bunch of times. I try to play it, the campaign once every, you know, couple of years. Every couple of years. And it's always great. And before Scourge wreck everything. Yeah, that'd be bad. We don't want Scourge to show up. Okay, now this high ground, I like having it, but I am a little bit worried that it exists. So... Yavol. Repair, repair, repair. Oh good, I'm glad you've seen a few of the YouTube casts. That's great. I'm always happy to hear that. I think we mech it, honestly. I think we just start tank production. Use the Valkyries for good stuff. Anybody need repairing? Kind of. You could use some. That seems terrible. All right, tanks on the high ground. Bunker on the low ground. What's up, Senor Alchemista? Wait, that's not your name at all, is it? Take the Valkyrie over Libs. Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be real nice against Mutalisks. Mineral income is abysmal. Come on, guys. Let's work that, huh? So we build that up there and the bunker down here. And we have some basic defense going on. What's up, Bartix? Welcome to the channel. And Zebo. Zivux? Zivux is here. Welcome, new people. Very happy to have you along for the ride. It's been pretty fun so far. I've only died a million times, is all. Oh, yes. Hardcore, hardcore a Brood War APM. That's pretty much what I'm known for. Uh, I should have really put that in the title, is my 500 APM when I play the Brood Wars. <laughs> Okay, feeling good. Feeling good about my defensive position here. Build one more bunker. Yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot of nostalgia, huh, Bartix? So a lot of people say when they come and watch, they're like, oh yeah, this mission. It's pretty much the most frequent thing that they say. Other than, why did you die? Which, I've only died a couple times. And mostly on those missions, the, uh, like, Covert Ops missions. Do these guys art automatically have Siege? 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is a nice position here. Ow. Not a single shot. Uh, there will be a replay commentary on the channel. Yep, twice a week. Got a big one coming Tuesday. Uh, good one, a great one coming tonight, and then a big one coming Tuesday. Rally tanks up this way. No, 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 no. Told you Supply Depot. You don't get to go home. Sorry. But sorry. So detection, detection. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. It's every day for StarCraft 2, but... It is twice a week. Well, not every day. Every day for StarCraft. Twice a week for Brood War. And the rest of the time it is StarCraft 2. Are you stuck? Ah, uh, you're stuck. Hang on. Can I get over here? Yes. That'll be acceptable, I guess. And you can't get up there because the barracks is in the way. Good Sim City. I'm just killing it in this mission, huh? <laughs> Brood War is unforgiving. True. Yeah, man. Valkyries are expensive, but they're really good. Is the whole thing. There we go. Yeah, they are worth it. Get additional vision up here real quick. Woo! Time for another factory. Should get a couple armories here too for mecking it up. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Affirmative. Everything is derpy. True fact, man. In the Brood Wars. Thanks for the follow, Zvox. Much appreciated. Going to be doing the StarCraft Remastered campaign playthroughs Saturdays and Sundays. Seriously got stuck in derpy, derpy SCV. How? I don't know if that works. Here, you get to live up here for a minute. Vehicle weapons, ship weapons, tank there too. Spending money pretty well, I would argue. The air is blocking my path in system. Yeah. I mean, that's not the sound a Dragoon makes, but you know what I mean. Frostbite with the follow too. I mean, the thing about Valkyries is I already have a whole bunch of them. Like, probably more than I need. You are stuck, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, Protoss, you're not doing anything here. Also Zerg, sorry. They're not even getting within spinning distance of anything. I guess I could put some tanks on that high ground. Let's do that. Okay. 
That's actually kind of interesting. They dropped a little bit. No, not in snare. So three tanks up there, a couple on the ground here, two. You just Googled what this week's goal is? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I want to try them out. The commercials make them look good. Three tank production, armory upgrades, making more Valkyries, trying to make supply depots real, real fast too. Not in the United States, that's for sure. Excellent. It's just that real estate is at a premium here, guys. You gotta help me out with this. Jeez. I guess way over there? Sure. Taiwan. Bum, 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 bum. More tanks, more upgrades. Here, you guys live over here to make sure drops are harder to happen. Got plus one attack tanks, working on additional upgrades there. Alright, we gotta push something. I feel like it's time. And maybe we'll try to get some battle cruisers here. I don't know. I'm not, not convinced. What? Did all my settings get lost? I feel like all my settings got lost somehow. Because that is on. That needs to be off. And my sound was way high this morning, too. It's like, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Taco Bell isn't as international as, like, McDonald's or Subway are. Not even close. Yeah, it kind of does, huh? Physics lab looks like a tech lab. All right, kids. Let's all go. It's a really surprising amount of gas considering I'm going for mech here. It's very weird. Thank you. Oh, you can build one there. That's amazing. All right, great. Let's uh, let's bring the Valkyrie and one of the science vessels. Uh, let's go. Let's see what we can find here, huh? I know the music's the best. What's up, Akemoto? And, ah, oh, Lil Lazak is back. You guys are great. Thanks for supporting. Good job upgrading, people. More upgrades. More upgrades for the upgrade god. Ooh, how do we do against scouts? Let's find out. 
Uh, pretty good. Pretty good is the report. Time to expand. Oh no, AK Motu. How about now? You could get an invite now. That'd be fine. I'm sure Alchemist would be glad to get you an invite. There is no difficulty on the Brood War campaign. It is what it is, what it is. Drath is playing. Yeah, Drath is playing right now in the Discord. Alright, let's continue our brave mission to kill everyone. Here, you build a missile turret. That's what I like about what you're doing here. Okay, so you guys are two, you guys are three, you are four. Let's keep going. Uh, hold on a second. Pathing. Pathing is bad. Ah, there's a group. <laughs> Oof. Oof, they say. And you guys defend, and you guys start getting gas. Just to make sure nothing crazy happens there. What are you going to play after finishing Brood War? Oh, that's a good question. I'm strongly, strongly considering playing Warcraft 2. I haven't played the Warcraft 2 campaign since I was probably 14 years old. And it just feels like it'd be a lot of fun. Maybe super frustrating because of all the restrictions. You can only um, control nine units at a time. Pathing is also extra stupid, but I think it'd be fun. Alright kids, let's move. Ooh, good. Go ship weapons and vehicle weapons here. This isn't actually a base, right? It is not. But this is something. What is this? A gateway. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad against carriers either, y'all. Ooh, that Dragoon got born and died. Gameloft wants me to StarCraft ripped off. Yeah. Well, I mean, how ripped off, right? The whole RTS genre was not invented by Blizzard. So, I really have a hard time saying anybody ripped them off when it's just like, well, I mean... They kind of... Didn't invent the modern RTS genre. The genre? Not a queen, help. Ow. Alright, so any nearby threats have been neutralized. We're gonna bring an SCV up, get some repairs going. Yes, yes, waypoint list is full. Shut up. You know what we need, though? We definitely need a battle cruiser or two or three. It's time. It is time. Yeah, you guys just live for gas. We'll actually start getting some minerals harvesting over here, too. 
Human and Sartote Alien and Advanced Alien. Yeah, that's a little... It's a little on the nose, I think. It does sound pretty ripped off. Who is texting me at this time of day? Oh. Dad wants me to attend a football game with him today. No future. Alright, 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 alright. No more answering texts. Who needs to be repaired? Where my SCV is at? You made it, right? No? Hold on. Wait, uh, waypoint is full. How was the birthday? What? Who had a birthday? There are two here. Alright, where did you go, friend? More battle cruiser? Yes, yes, I think we will. Thanks for asking. Where are you, battle cruiser? Here you are. You get to hang out with the guys. I know I'm telling you to repair the Valkyrie, so why is this not happening? Yay, you're in the clan! Woo -woot! Uh, yeah, it was yeah, it was last week, my 14-year-old brother's birthday. It was good. It was very good. He had a good time. We had a party. We had cake and ice cream. He ended up getting a whole bunch of books that he really wants to read. Because he is one of my brothers, and as a result, loves reading. And it was great. Yeah, I've got a 14-year-old brother. He is an old soul. It's an interesting thing. Alright, let's keep going. Keep moving. Yes, Alchemist. <laughs> He's been an uncle since he was four, Royal Alchemist. Starcraft campaign is so easy for a Dr. Kill patient. He can do it blindfolded with somebody moving an ice cube on his bare chest. Sounds hot. These poor outlying areas just don't... They're not being protected by anything. Well, there were some dragoons, I guess. Oh no, not two dragoons. Not an Archon. Not a High Templar. Actually, might need to dodge some storm here, but not actually... Yeah, my oldest kid is 10. You got it. And he's the oldest of the, uh, of the nephews. Alright, kids. Siege mode time. Enough messing around. You will protect against incoming threats.
Valkyries, if necessary. But so far, not much is necessary. This is actually a decent number of Dragoons, but this is just three attack tanks. You're not going to have a good time, guys. I'm sorry. See a Frostbite. Oh! Oh! My missile turret. What happened? Battlecruiser, save the base. I know, my battle cruiser will win though, don't worry about it. Oh, the plague! You better win this fast, dude. Missile turrets are helping. All right, all right, all right. Sheesh. Where the heck did a defiler come from? Meanwhile, on this side of the map, where did my SCVs go? Here they are. <laughs> repair, repair, repair. Somebody beat Mass Tempest with Mass BC. Hmm. It's fun. Come on, Battle Cruiser. So, am I supposed to kind of skirt around this thing or am I supposed to kill it? I don't know, not high ground. Oh, good job, guy. Oh, shoot. Get it. Thank you. Come on, tanks. Don't die on me. Yeah, Tempests are way zippy. I'll check out the link. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the matchup today between the Consortium and the Wardens. The Consortium player is trying to keep his options open by starting with a research lab, which means he could break down an Earthshaker mid-game. And it seems he's also going for dual garrisons, which means he could be planning some kind of infantry rush. Meanwhile, the Warden's player is powering up his own economy, saturating his Zenodium gathering facility with workers. And he's putting up a few safeguard turrets in his base as well, which might indicate a defensive play. Perhaps he's going for advanced units, which is the Warden's strong... Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Seven years ago. Holy smokes. Oh, it's a mobile game? Coming to iPad and iPad 2 and iPhone. Okay. Well, I mean... I don't know. In that case, I don't feel like Blizzard has any interest in making StarCraft for mobile. So, in that case... Eh? Right? Anyway, we'll go back to the game here. Guys, I've been working hard. One more upgrade to go. Guess we make more battle cruisers. We can repair stuff now because the plague has worn off. You're basically gonna be base defense over here, guys. Probably not awesome for you. I, you know. Look, it's a repair chain. Repairing the SCV who's repairing the battle cruiser. Hey, hey. 40 supply cap. It's a mobile game! How much memory do mobile games have? I mean, do mobile platforms have, right? Oh, this poor scout. Ooh, <laughs> Get some repairing up, thank you very much. I mean, do we want to go through the warp gate? I don't think we have to, but I kind of feel like I want to. So let's do it. You repaired up yet? 
Also, we need gas from you guys. Not really so much the minerals. Let's go ahead and research the Yamato Cannon. The Missile Storm of Doom. That's right, it is. Is it? Ah, uh, I think we got this. Absolutely. No question. Ah, oh, they killed one of my missile turrets. Why? Ah! Don't go up there. Actually, let's go up there. Carrier, get him. Okay. Little sloppy, but we're here. Warp gate. Which is attackable or not? It is not attackable. Alright. I don't remember this part. Valkyries. Alright, we don't have to fight this far up, you guys. We can use the help. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No! My battle cruiser! Uh, that makes me mad. Uh, no, 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 no. Frustrating. All right, you guys were awesome. Good job. Way to save the everything. More missile turret is the answer here. Do you need further upgrades? Yes, certainly do. Do you need more of these guys? Yes, certainly do. Did I lose two of my tanks? I lost two of my tanks. How embarrassing. You guys, go up there. We make another round of tanks. And maybe... Eh. That's about it. Let's go ahead and go max energy on the battle cruisers. And we'll keep pushing here in a minute. Dragoons just don't do well against tanks. Pro tip. You guys are now two. Oh, my science vessel's been injured somehow. Hmm. Well, this is something that needs to die. Good detecting science vessel. Imagine if you could tactical jump twice. That, yeah, it was. Oh, there are some Zergs here. Well, there were some Zergs here, anyway. Hello, tank. Oh, hang on, bud. Oh, pathing. Sorry, Overlord. All right, so that upgrade's complete. Let's 
keep moving. Oh no, I got ensnared. It's fine, we don't need to kill that. Another ensnare! Okay, bud. Hold your horses, friend. Let's hang out with the party, huh? Poor SCV. Just trying to repair. Tankity tank tank tank. Two BCs here. Should be enough. One more missile turret, just for old time's sake. And you know what? We gotta do a transfer. There we go. That's better. These poor High Templar haven't done anything. They haven't thrown a storm at me. They haven't feedbacked anything. Wait, they don't have feedback. Dark Templars have feedback. Still. Yes, sir. Battlecruisers prioritize all ground targets to air targets. So one Mew would take down a fleet of BCs. <laughs> Maybe. No! Get back. Genius. Alright. Continued push happening here. Okay, let's go. High ground stuff? Some high ground stuff. Oh, okay. We didn't get the carrier with that? Huh. Let's get it. There we go. Alright, tanks need to siege up. Left some people behind. Sorry. Man, 
Battle cruisers take forever to repair. Good golly. Yeah, corruptors are pretty good against anything in the sky. I'll be fine. I have Valkyrie. Remember those? And battle cruisers with plus three armor? Heck yeah. Look, this wasn't even hard. <laughs> uh, That's fantastic. Like, we're gonna get overrun. No, nope, that didn't happen. Sensors have detected a fully functional Psi Disruptor on the planet's surface directly below our position. It would appear that the Vice Admiral did not destroy the Psi Disruptor on Tarsonis as was ordered. What? Impossible! I warned you, Admiral, Stokov has betrayed you. He's reconstructed the Psi Disruptor in order to sabotage your mission in the sector. I like how nobody has cell phones, right? You can't call Stukov and be like, hey, what are you doing? And then Stukov says, well, this I have really good reasons for what I'm doing. And then Degal says, oh, that's cool. Good morning, Echo. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Ekemotu, it's, there's nothing different about the gameplay for the remastered. It's just the graphics. They did up the 3D portraits, obviously, are different. Uh, there are some little uh, illustrations in between some of the missions where before it was just words. So those are the only differences here. What's up, Doshop? Why can't Degal just get the side disruptors? 
are good against Zerg. I don't know, man. De Gaulle is real dumb in this campaign. He makes a lot of stupid mistakes. Morning. Well, right. It is afternoon on the East Coast now. 10 a.m. where I am, boys. Turn up the volume a bit. If this seems too loud, let me know. Access code denied. Right away. I like how the com the computer has an attitude. Access code denied. You got it. Don't you give me that lip? Just a computer. These are the missions that I'll die on, if anything else. Hey, scientists. Harry, tell him anything. Goliath sounds good. Yeah, it's a nice gray, isn't it, Do Shop? some exploration others have gone from bronze to masters here we are going from campaign to masters here we go 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 what master level campaign play know what Farnham is? Security cameras activated. Vice Admiral Stukov detected in Sector 8. Excellent. Europe. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you got it. Ah, we got one of those boys in the Twitch chat yes, today. Hey boys, we can sure use those something something Pepe. The other ones go 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 right away oh 
Oh, where did I lose a guy? Back up, back up. Hmm, it's kind of a weird exchange. It's fine. Heal up my Goliath. I'll do it. Thanks for the random resources. I don't know why I have those. Three three Goliaths though. Not not too bad. <clears throat> you put Marines in the Goliaths and that's why the Marines are stupid. Yep. Makes perfect sense. Hey, Marfer, what's up? Thanks for the bits. Thank you for the five bits. Ah, oh, I haven't seen you for a while, I feel like. I'm glad you could make it. Don't you die, medic. Could have used that SCV, though. I haven't used any of Duran's abilities at all. I guess I could lock down something. Yes, Captain. I'm here. Let's see. You're there and you're there. Is there a problem? Orders, Captain. Yes, Captain. You got it. Right away. Do, 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 I'll take care of it. Medics are so fast. Right away. Ow, ow. Look at her tank that damage like a boss. Goliath, go up the stairs. <laughs> so dumb. There's nothing up here? Why'd I come upstairs then? I guess maybe because there was a ghost trying to kill me. the train. Let's get up here. Get some repair done. Just to make sure. Make sure we don't die here. All right, question of the day. What is your favorite fast food in the place where you live? Yes, Captain. Orders, Captain. I'm here. I'll take care of it. What do you need? How can I be of service? Favorite fast food. Of course. I'm here. Yes, Captain. Chick-fil-A. Oh, waffle fries with barbecue sauce. Interesting. I like it. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is definitely high on my list. What do you need? How can I be of service? What do you need? Now you have to get them. Right away. Sorry. You got it. Dix is what? Yes, Polywumple. Oh, here he is. Admiral Stukov. I am here under orders to terminate your command. Exactly what it is that you're here to terminate. Get on with it. 
Say good night, Stuko. To hell with you. Lieutenant Duran, report your situation immediately. Gerard, old friend, you do indeed have a traitor in your midst. But it's not me. Duran, he has been playing us both from the start. Destroy this side disruptor, even though it was our best chance at defeating the Zerg. And then on air, he allowed the Zerg to overrun us, even as we had the fugitives in our grasp. I came here to activate the one hope we have of defeating them. And you killed me for it. <laughs> Duran is your enemy, Gerard. I suspect. the disruptor, Gerard. Finish our operation. Let my death have at least some meaning. Alexei! Oh, what have I done? What have I, what done? Have I done? What have I done? Computer, where the hell is Lieutenant Duran? The lieutenant no longer registers on my sensors, Admiral. He appears to have vanished. No. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Sir, the disruptor's power core has just been set to overload. In order to prevent meltdown, you will need to reach the manual override terminal and shut the reactor core down. It must have been Duran. You men serve the Vice Admiral loyally. I ask that you continue to serve his memory by keeping this disruptor in one piece. Now get going and find that override terminal. <laughs> I just asked about everybody's favorite fast food. Systems functional. Channel open. Security cameras activated. So there we go. Yeah, so actually a lot of charities, both religious and non, uh, have a hard time getting the money to people who actually need it. There's a list somewhere that shows how much of the money you donate goes to people who need it and how much goes to administration. Anyway, I don't have time to look it up. I gotta shut this thing down. Alright, look, we're gonna do this. You guys are too. You're following. Ah. Our installation walls have been breached, tracking multiple Zerg signals throughout the side disruptor's interior. What the hell? How did Zerg get in here? Captain, we may have a huge infestation problem. Someone opened the door. just chill out for a second here oh gosh come back guys I need you to live side disruptors are an option in the world wall campaign but they're super nerfed true come on dumb old medics let's get up here
I think we'll be fine. More guys. Somicron's here! Well, killed one of my guys, that's fine. It's a fair trade. <clears throat> um, I don't know. The biggest struggle with streaming was just that my processor was old when I first started. Stream go offline for any of you? Mm. They did this better in the Wings of Liberty campaign, but this is pretty fun. Not hide the release, cause what will we do? Oh, just win, I guess. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's a bad sound. Oh, we got him. Holy crap. Huh. Hey, more guys. Just hanging out with the Zerg. Don't mind us. Oh, way more guys. These hiders are actually doing pretty well. down here. Hiding in a corner. Does he have a name? No banelings for you. Yeah, no kabooms. Ha <laughs> ha. Good job, medics. 25 viewers. Nice. That might be a new high for the, dark, uh, the remastered. Come on, giant army. Let's do this thing. 
Poor Johnny. He knew what he was getting into when he signed up for the Marine Corps. Oh boy. Go medics, mess with their AI. One Marine died there. That's pretty good. Wait, what is happening up here? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, no Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt today. Firebats would be nice in this mission. You are correct. Oh, plagued some of my stuff. Just keep going. No! Medic died. I was worried about that. That's okay. We still have two. Hold. Man, that is a good tanky, tanky Goliath. The medic can do it. <laughs> I don't need stem. Did I need stem? I don't need stem in that mission at all. The Alexander, low orbit over the planet Char. Captain, with the side disruptor signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling overmind. Alexei was right. The disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three Cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each Cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown, so proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I venture again that he's treachery. Hey, Eero B84. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I've been here for a while now. Uh, a few months at the very least, but I'm glad you find your way here. And what up, Josh? How's it going? This mission is ultra hard. Oh, yeah. Not for me. Look at that. Split. Is that my gas? Oh no, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well that was fun. What I need to do is take that expansion as fast as possible. So let's go ahead and build a command center down here. What are we defending with? Anything? Not much. <clears throat> So I need to stay alive and tell Battlecruiser is the plan right now. So that is going to mean tanks. It's going to mean bunkers. 
I mean, do we want to defend way up there? Or do we just want to defend this choke? Ah, decisions, decisions, decisions. I mean, yeah, that's too much. side, huh? Finish! Run! Get a Marine in there! Go! Ah, dang it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. That's better. So that's pretty good. Ooh, yeah, you got to kill the Cerebrit. Exactly. Which is why I want to do some flying here, is the idea. Alright, so got two of those. Make a factory for some tank production. You're looking pretty healthy on that side of things. We'll go ahead and give infantry weapons level one just because we do need defense to be doing some stuff here. Is Torask in this mission? Oh no. We don't like Torask. Repair! See, that's why we need the upgrades. That's also why we need tanks. Let's get you moving here, too. Excellent. Do I have to research Siege? I do. I need you to get gas for me. Who can't build where? Let's get an academy as well. Ship weapons and ship armor. And let's get that gas going. Also, another bunker would not hurt anything, I don't think. Or two, possibly. 
Oh. <laughs> SCV building bunker got too close. That's actually interesting. All right. Um, here is safe, I guess. Sheesh. And it is U-238 shells for the range there. Toss that up, toss that up. Yeah, I hear ya. Repair it! Repair it! We do have plus one. This is what we need, though. Get inside the bunkers! Repair the missile turrets. Make more missile turrets. Ooh! You're not in range to die there? I'm surprised by that. Okay, fair enough. Hey, Fatty's here! Yeah, that is good music, huh? He's doing furniture sales. Do you not get over here, seriously? Ugh. Fine. Build over here, then. Okay, two bunkers full of dudes. Built another missile turret just because I am worried about mutas. And we're almost at the point where we can start building a battle cruisers here. Ah, I didn't start that upgrade yet. Dang it. Keep making supply to use pose for me, boy. Alright, so two tanks, two bunkers. Maybe another missile turret, just because. And I'm feeling pretty good about our defenses there. Wait, you did build one. Ah, uh, yeah. There, I guess. So we can start making a couple science vessels. We will need those. Alright, three missile turrets feels pretty good. Oh, thank you for the compliment on the beard, fatty. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. The physics lab is a tech lab. Yeah, not a bad argument. Yep. Is it? So but now we have tanks. So we're okay. And now we can start making the battle cruisers. We will give them Yamato. Actually, we will give them energy first. There he is. There's my guy. Torask. Sunkins in the Hots campaign are called Im Impaler Colonies. Kind of. Build a scanner. Fine. I will build two scanners, actually. How about that? How's that sound? Hmm. All right, upgrades are happening. I feel like we need more tanks. Oh, there he is. Why are you attacking my SCVs? 
Huh. That was weird. Not that much. Since when do we have recon squads? What is this? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Is it now? Repair! Oh, no, huh? Not great. Could have been worse. Ship weapons. More battle cruisers. With science vessels. And almost Yamato. Nuke the Cerebrate. That's an interesting idea. Try to keep Torask out using supply depots. That's gonna work, right? Shut up, you. I have sufficient Vespine everything. Ready, go. If he attacks this base, I think I'm toast. Bunker rush the Cerebrate for the memes. You want me to scan the cerebrate? Okay. Wait, no, that's the overmind. Uh, this is Torask. That's the cerebrate. Excuse me, so sneezy today. More to battle cruiser. Is he here? He is here, but he's stupid. <laughs> All the damage I'm taking is from splash damage from my tanks. Well, all right, that was fun. I mean, I guess my battle cruisers could be up here helping. That seems fair, actually. Yeah, sorry guys. Not gonna happen. Mule drop the cerebrate. I would if I could mule drop. That'd be a lot of fun, actually. Wait, no. You guys are the funnies. 300 gas is so much gas, you guys. It really is. Upgrade complete. Another 300 gas for more ship plating? What do you think I'm made of? Vespian gas? I don't want to move out. You think that's a bad idea? All right, I'm getting armor. Armor is really important out there. We're actually not super saturated on that Vespine geyser, are we? There's a Devourer out here, but we can Yamato those guys down, no problem. There are some Scourge, but again, Yamato's pretty good. Torask is here. Torask will get torn apart by Battlecruiser Laser Cannons. 
That is the limitation of Ultralisks. We are going to be 3-3 very, very soon. Imagine if Battlecruisers could teleport anywhere. Oh, wait. Yeah, big game hunters, three versus five Zerg PCs. That is fun. I used to do that with my roommates. Uh, back in college one year, I had a couple Korean roommates. And surprise, surprise, they loved StarCraft. So we got along very, very well. Oh, got a dark swarm up. That would have actually been pretty nice. But it was too late, unfortunately. And we played a lot of that. Big Game Hunters versus a whole bunch of AI. And yeah, it was all about walling off. Can you not build there? You can get in there, right? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, squeeze it in. Not squeezing it in. Uh, tortured scream in the caption. That's interesting. What was that? I wonder. Alright, kids. It is almost time to go. I'm feeling it in my bones. Traditional campaign strategy of turtle up and then attack when you have a huge unstoppable army. Doesn't teach you how to ladder very well, though. Cool tur trick when playing with Terran. There's an original Brood War Risk game. A UMS game. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, shoot. Remember how I was like, Torask better not come here? Yeah. You don't mess with my gas income. That's fine. You can kill all those. Sorry, everyone. Sheesh, that was bad. And we got 12, and we're at 3 3. Let's time to move out. Let's kill something, guys. Here, I'm gonna replace the defense back here. Who's complaining about not being able to build stuff? Whatever. Alright. We're gonna go this way. I'm gonna take out the Ultralisk Cavern first. Seems prudent. Scourge dumb. Oh, well, the Scourge are dumb, everyone. You are not Falcon. Who, wait, what? Who's, who's talking? Oh, you want me to sing Radioactive?
There he is. Get him. See, they keep trying that. There's a defiler out here, isn't there? There was a defiler out there, yes. Not anymore. Decent hits there. Get out of there. So production is severely hindered there. Ah, I lost one. Come join the party, friend. Should bring some SCVs over in a drop ship. What's up, Gilda Lynn? Welcome. Guardians? What? Defend! Defend! Yeah, tortured roar. You're correct. All right, ultralist cavern place. Yeah. I got a drop ship. I did. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We can live with that. Come with me, guys. You guys get in that bunker. Some of you get in that bunker. Alright. We are going to be just fine and dandy here. Just set up right here. Get some repair on. Over here, so I can actually see. Report for duty. All right, that should be a good repair thing. Take that base. Uh, yeah, let's wait for this cre creep to recede, and I'll take the base. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, honestly, might defend over here. Uh, might as well defend over here with these guys, huh? I'm 
Almost have enough for another whole fleet group of these guys. Be pretty good. Are you getting repaired, dude? Ah, uh, my Vespin Geyser was depleted. I should definitely take this. You are correct. Come repair this. Yes, Alchemist. Very funny. Alright, everyone is fully healed up. Let's go ahead and take down another one of them Cerebrates. See, there's one over here, right? No? Kind of? That's just a regular old base over there. What? Hmm. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, I was gonna take this base, I forgot. You jerk. Here we go. This is a place. Oh wait, these ones are all... I killed the Cerebrit for these. So they're not actually a threat at all. Alright. Wait, is this all dead? Oh, because I killed the Cerebrit. This is an even better base to take. Huh. Walk up there yes, safely, do we think? Let's give it a try. Nope, these sunkins are still alive. So, what we gotta do is kill Red. Yeah, I think that's right. There's a defiler over here, I know it. All crews report. No? That's weird. Alright. Yeah, this could be another Duran setup. Very true. Good day, 
Do 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 Line. All crews reporting. Receiving transmission. Set a course. Make it happen. Your forces are under attack. Make it slow. Receiving transmission. Hydra coming from? Am I gonna let the beard grow out any more? Yeah! The answer is yes, I am. Gotta shave up the neck a little bit, but the rest of it I'm gonna let keep going. Oh! Oof. Fested Terrans. Yep, that's my theory. Duran wants the UED to be overconfident. Josh is a lumberjack and he's okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. It's another base we could take. Chitari from Avengers. Avengers 1. Remember that one? Did you make it? Oh, you made it. Alright, so that means... Y'all can go mine. That's fun. We'll leave one guy back here to repair if necessary. Oh, actual Hydralisks though. Hold on. My SCVs, what happened? I guess we should actually defend that, huh? Uh, you guys go defend this. You got spawn brutalinged. Get him! Oh, they time out, though. That was dumb. Holy, what is that? Save it. Save it. That wasn't so great, was it? No, it was not. Alright, you in there. You in there. Oh, some lurker attempts, I see. It's fun, I guess. 
All right, let's go. Is there one more Cerebrate we have to take down? My drop ship, you jerks. Not parasite, what will I do? For that goof to wear off. Oh shoot! Ah, lost one. actually getting a little bit hairy. Yeah, rip everything in that dropship. That was crazy. coming from okay we got to get out of here we got to pull back get reinforcements in here we heal up we bring more battle cruisers to the front lines we bring Let's try to make this thing happen wow tactical jump home can you get up here you are gonna try. Okay, replacing battle cruisers that are dead. See if this SUV can safely make it all the way up there. Oh, I could use defensive matrix. That's actually a good idea. I did forget about that, Alex and Alchemist. Good idea. I'll do that one for this next battle. That we necessarily need Make it the help there anymore, but good day, Commander. Yeah, maybe a new dropship. Maybe a bunch more SCVs. Healing frequencies open. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. All crews report. Can I take you to go, sir? 
This makes me laugh how she sounds like she's a drive through attendant. Can I take your order? Um, 25 kill battle cruiser alive. 39 kill battle cruiser alive. 39, 39, 39. How random is that? All three of these VCs have the exact same number of kills somehow. Hmm. 50 and 54. Sheesh. And we should be maxed out at this point. Pretty darn close, anyway. Got one more BC in the cart. Good day, Could also be doing some irradiate, I guess, but I really aren't any defilers worth worrying about there. Ooh, new episode of My Hero Academia out. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of thought about taking that base, but... Nah. Good day, Commander. Order scout. Receiving transmission. Hailing frequencies open. Engage. Yeah, well, there's no new episodes of One Punch Man, so I agree with you. It doesn't really matter. All right, so you guys are two. And you guys are three. I said you guys are three. Didn't I say you guys are three? Hmm. Have I seen Mob Psycho? No. And yeah, a lot of minerals and gas here. We are maxed out. What do you want to do? Where did my two go? Did I just get plagued? Oh. I did get plagued. Garbage. All right. We're retreating. We got plagued. What a great plague that was, too. Good golly. Plague and Snare looks delicious. What the? Where did you guys go? Get over here, dummies. Just run. That's all I need from you is to run. Uh. Yep, Spencer is Moobot. Sorry guys, another awesome repair session here, but gotta do it or we're in trouble.
vacancy is open. Set a course. All crews reporting. Make it happen. All crews reporting. Make it slow. Engage. Good day, Commander. Orders gathered. Right away, sir. Orders gathered. Right away, sir. Good day, Commander. Alien frequency is open. All crews reporting. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Orders received. Receiving transmission. Good day. All right. Commander. Can multi repair. Huh. Good day, Commander. Healing frequencies open. Now look. You guys are too. Set the course. And you guys are three. And some of you guys are hurt, so that's not great. repairing guys scan first yeah not a bad idea Let's see if there's any defilers over here Terran, zergling zergling not enough energy there's another cerebrate anywhere or just the uh... hmm Good day, Commander. Transmit orders. Let's roll. I read you. Right away, sir. I'm listening. In transit. All crews reporting. I'm gonna come from a bit of a spread scenario here. Actually, a pretty big army. What the what? Stupid devourers. Really hate those guys. Here we go. Spread formation. my wife on the way home from the gym she brought me some waffle fries <gasps> she did all right you got your wish all right big success there Oh, 
Do I play D&D? &D? I don't play D&D. &D. I like D&D. &D. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty fun. I like watching people play it. I like stories about it, but I don't, I've never actually played it. Over Christmas break, my brother-in-law tried to organize one, but it just never got, never uh, got completed or started anyway. Scourge. Defiler mount down is good. Do I need medics? Oh crap, I need medics. We've reached the perimeter of the open mines nesting area. We can launch the mid team at any time, sir. Your forces are under attack. Queen's Nest, good. Infested Command Center. Ooh, new Cerebrate. Do we even have to kill this guy? I'm wondering. I mean, it won't hurt, right? Kiddos. See if we can go up there. These inert now? Yep. Yeah, I got the medics. We're good. Oh no, <laughs> that's the first time you said that. That's funny. Ooh, there's a lurker here, but thankfully it is inert. Yeah, she should have been dead. And then Amon would be unkillable if we killed Kerrigan. Good point. So, Kerrigan and Duran are friends. That's weird. Zerg! The very men 
mention of this terrifying race once brought fear to all who heard it. But now we can all rest easy as our own forces now occupy their very homeworld of Char. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent overmind of the Zerg. The overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Overmind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate Psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Overmind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind. But Stukov is alive! That's the trickery here. That is a very smug look for Stukov. But he lives. He got infested and stuff. So that's that's for another another game, though. Alright, uh, that's a pretty good stopping place, I think. Two hours and 15 for today seems pretty fantastic. Thanks, everybody, for joining here. Let's go find someone who is... We can raid real quick and say hello from the Falcon, eh? Eh? Ah, oh, Jayun's up. I like Jayun. Let's go say hi to him. He is a good player too. He's much. If you want to watch high level stuff, watch Jayun. I do need to do the Protoss campaign, for sure. Ah, oh, Firebird. Firebird rip. Go say hi to Jay Yun for me though. He's great. He's an amazing, amazing player. And I think he plays random too. So that's exciting. Anyway, thanks everybody for being here. Thank you for the bits, Marfer. Thanks for the follow, Frostbite, and Zebooks. And until next time, gonna be tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. Don't be late. We'll do Protoss. Okay, bye.